Welcome to part 8 of Dead Space. We met the Hunter, which is basically this giant necromorph that regenerates. So Isaac, as of right now, cannot feasibly kill this thing. You can still stun the creature by dismembering it, though. It will take a few minutes. Well, probably not minutes, but maybe 20 seconds for it to regenerate. So that will give you enough time to escape. To run like hell, otherwise the thing will beat you up. It will beat you up so badly. <laughs> ah, God! You really want to mess with somebody with a gravity buzzsaw? You really want to? But the Hunter makes a few more appearances in this game, the remake as opposed to 08. You could say the Hunter is just like the Regenerator from Resident Evil 4, but at least in Resident Evil 4 you could kill the Regenerators. You cannot kill the Hunter. At least not conventionally. You have to think outside the box or wait for a certain plot point to arise before you can take out the Hunter. And we just got the line gun. And this bad boy here is a pretty dangerous weapon. What it does is it shoots out a, um, a giant clothesline of plasma electrical energy. That's the best way I can describe it. And it is basically your wide beam for the entire game because it's good for kneecapping enemies by the dozens. One dead shot from this thing will probably take out four necromorphs and just completely immobilize them. It's that wide. The line gun's alternate firepower is a laser trap, which I honestly don't even use that often. The real star of the show is the primary fire. Now, if I were to criticize the line weapon, it is basically... I guess it's the alternate firepower, that's it. Because it is a trap and enemies tend to be on the more unpredictable side, so they may or may not step into those traps. Oh, and here's the Guardian. You do not want to step near those guys at all, because even in the remake, they could cut your head off and just essentially end your journey there. Fuck! Do not like the extra tendrils that spawn in the area. They only serve as a distraction. The very existence of the Guardian is disturbing as it's still partially human, and it feels pain as it screams. And boy, does the thing scream. Holy shit. And the poor bastard is glued to the wall. That's, um, there's nothing worse than that. If there's one thing I think is way worse than death, it's being permanently affixed to a wall. Surgical Lord Dr. Charles Mercer, tissue regeneration experiment 5. The children of the marker, kind necromorphs, have provided all the material I could ask for. And the infector variant has provided a key prototype. Implanting the material directly into the brain renders optimal results. Of course, that requires puncturing the frontal bone just above the glabella. Please, please, no! Don't worry. It's been sterilized. system. Please stand by. 
Dude, that does even more than a scare cord. <laughs> Damn it, the ragdolls ruined the moment. Right. Air quality is dropping ship wide. Something's poisoning the oxygen and hydroponics. If we lose our air supply. We said we could fix it. He came looking for liquid nitrogen. And there has to be some in the cryogenic slab. Okay. Not like we have a better option. I'll clear you a pass to cryo. Door protocols rebooted. Thank you for your patience. Toxic hazards detected. Shameful, Mr. Clark. Forcing the clock. Here, there's emergency bank security checkpoint. Go! I'll try to lock him out! We have a new problem. The air quality of the ship is dropping and somehow it's not exposed to outer space. Something is certainly amiss. In this situation, you are on a timer to get to a safe room before your oxygen is completely compromised. It's only a couple of feet though, and the hunter is here for good measure. Mercer is... He needs to die right now. <laughs> he is the main villain of this game, so of course we're gonna have to take him out. There could, however, be more people involved with this whole unitology plot. Either that, or everybody is just batshit insane. Or both. You don't really know how much of the insanity is based on the marker. It could just be Mercer's an asshole, but that part is left vague. Anyway, we need to get liquid nitrogen in order to fight off this gas. That's going to be located in Hydro Pontiacs. No, I'm sorry, Hydro Pontiacs. Pontiac is a car. They don't get affected by the stasis. That sucks! Can't see exactly what's hitting me. This is why I hate swarmers. Well, that takes care of that, at least. And I have low health, that's not good. Hopefully I have some med packs on hand. Only seem to have four small med packs. That will suffice for now, but I'm gonna need more. As the game progresses, enemies will start to do more and more damage. It's in your best interest to upgrade the suit's HP, so that way you can take more damage. Anyway, welcome to Hydro Pontiacs, Michigan. Yeah, apparently the Ishimura was built in Michigan. We're going to meet Dr. Mercer again and hopefully put an end to him quickly before he causes more havoc.
delayed me enough. If you've heard Nicole, I have never shown you anything but courtesy to Dr. Brennan. Can you say the same thing? I can say I'm not a fucking murderer. Speaking of courtesy. <laughs> Ishimura's engines. Our homecoming will be truly divine. And I doubt even you can stop a convergence event fueled by the entire population of Earth. You take these things to Earth, it's all over. Only for the faithless. Humanity will be made whole, Mr. Clark, with or without you. I'd say you've chosen your side. Son of a bitch, nowhere is safe from this guy. We're trapped in the room with the hunter and we can't kill it. What do we do? Well, we freeze it, of course. We need to lure the beast into the center of the room where the cryogenic stasis chamber is, and of course there are babies in the room trying to impede on your progress. Lovely! Is having a kid really worth it? <laughs> anyway, you're supposed to stun the hunter while he's inside the chamber. But first I want to clear out the room so I don't have any distractions, and this baby is stabbing me! And get the fuck out of here! Hammond since he went to the crew deck. Isaac, our air quality is falling fast. If you've got liquid nitrogen, we gotta fix hydroponics. On it. Keep trying to reach Hammond. Mercer, I don't think he's done yet. Oh, Jesus. You know that hunter is going to come back. Are there multiple hunters? I have a feeling it's just one hunter and it just keeps coming back. Or at least that's my head cannon. There might be two hunters in the remake now that I think about it. Alright, so the way to hydroponics, which I thought we were just at hydroponics, but no, that was cryogenics, is we have to go back to the hangar area. So let's get on that, shall we? Control. 
What can I get for my troubles game? And hopefully I'm not broke. I'm broke. I only got a fistful of dollars. I don't think you can sell your weapons in the game like in the original. I guess that's because every weapon is useful, including the pulse rifle. The pulse rifle is also useful. Even if the bullets are weak, the mine launcher is still awesome. The hell was that? Dr. Elizabeth Cross. Now that sprinklers are fixed, we're working close to maximum capacity. All flora is thriving, and food yield has created a surplus. We had the surplus packed up, so we're to the colony. The captain of the planet is strictly enforcing the no fly order. This ridiculation lockdown. I'm lodging a complaint. Everyone knows Aegis 7 needs help. What harm could some fresh fruit do? Looks like we have another survivor, and that is Dr. Cross. Hopefully she's not as batshit crazy as Mercer. Anyway, I'm going to plunder the area for supplies and hopefully get something good. No, Elizabeth, come back! That's what Dr. Cross looks like, and hopefully she's still alive when we get to her. Warning. Liquid nitrogen supply depleted. Liquid nitrogen replenished. Beginning enzyme synthesis. Enzyme synthesis complete. Caution. Do not ingest. Any luck? Yeah, I finished the enzyme. It's been modified to digest something big. They must have been trying to kill whatever's in food storage. Let's hope it works. That's going to do it for episode 8 of Dead Space. Stay tuned for the next episode where we deal with the most tedious part of the whole entire game. I'll see you then.